Hey guys, it's Kelly with Embroidery Nurse. I'm coming to you today because I've run out of all the supplies I've needed to make masks. And face masks are in huge demand right now. So I went to Walmart and you guys, I found everything that I possibly needed in Walmart. So I wanted to pass along these amazing things that I found and just some different ways that you can make your face masks so they can work for you and you can keep turning them out even when things like elastic are hard to find. I have been making all of mine with the elastic and using, um, you know, sewing it in on both sides, but I've run out and I've ordered elastic from three different places and I'm just waiting. So I felt like maybe there was something I could do in the meantime so that I could, you know, start making more of them instead of just sitting around and waiting for, you know, um, all three different suppliers to get to me. They have been overwhelmed with people purchasing from them. So, um, it's taking a lot longer for things to get to us. And I made one mistake of buying something on eBay and not realizing until I paid for it that it was actually coming from China. So huge mistake on my end and I'll be waiting for that one for forever probably, but oh well, I guess once it comes, I'll be able to use it then. So if you don't have elastic, you guys head over to Walmart and let me show you the cool things I found. So first off, look at this cool mat that I got. I love it, it is perfect. This is the Quilters Cut and Press 2. And what's really cool about this is it's two-sided. You can press with your iron on this side. And then on this side, look at that. This is the rotary cut on this side. So this is really helpful. I'm actually staying in place or sheltering place um, in a different location than my regular home. I'm actually at our beach house. So for me, this was really nice to have um, because I didn't have one here. Um, so I love the fact that you can cut on this side and that you can use your iron and press on the other side. So this was at Walmart. I also, just for quicker cutting purposes, bought um, the rotary cutter, and um, then this was at Walmart as well. Um, I, I know I'll use this, you know, long after mask making, so I thought it was a good investment um, in regards to um, anything that I do, but I know this is going to be really helpful for cutting fabric, for cutting ties, um, really for, you know, cutting anything that, that I'll use going forward fabric-wise. So that was at Walmart. Let's see this super excited about so i had heard that using like jersey knit um, was really good for ties so i found this it just says two yards for two dollars of a fabric cut and this is a huge piece of jersey knit that was going to be really cool for making some ties so we're going to show you how to make those here in just a little bit let's see for the nose pieces that we're all making, I did find the floral wire. All of this again, I found at Walmart today. Um, this was the 20 gauge. I kind of felt around with the different gauges and 20 gauge seems to have the best hold. Um, there was one I think that was like 24 gauge that was wrapped up in a coil um, and it just felt too flimsy to me. So I got the floral wire. So this is gonna be used for the um, nose pieces so that they fit a little bit tighter. I did buy again at Walmart, the wire cutter. Um, this is perfect for, you know, cutting this floral wire because I don't want to use my regular scissors and mess those up in the process. So I found that there. So another huge find, I bought like 10 packs of these, um, is bias tape. So bias tape is another way that we can make ties um, that people have really found useful, um, you know, when they want to wear it. So I bought pretty much every color um, that I can find so that I can make some cute ones along the way. I know cute's not the point, but um, at least it gives me some variety in, in what I can do. Um, so this was a huge find there. You basically can make two masks um, with, with each packet that you get. And I think these were like $1.97. So you definitely do need a bunch um, because you can only make two masks with each one of these three yards. Um, and this is um, a half inch wide. It's, it's the smallest they had, so I got that. Um, and then um, 
Another option for the nose piece, if you don't use the actual wire cutter, then you can use, you know, we call these pipe cleaners. Walmart calls them rainbow fuzzy sticks, but you know, whatever, to each his own. These fuzzy sticks are really good um, for the nose piece inserts, so I bought those as another option. And then lastly, um, I bought hair ties because I had heard that we could try it with hair ties and just see how the um, how this works. They This was the biggest one that I could find as far as the hair tie length. And, um, you know, when I took looked at it a little further, I think I'll try this with one of the kids' versions, but I don't think these will be big enough for the adult versions. I just think this would really hurt behind the ear because they are so, um, they're, they're smaller than I wanted them to be. But, you know, I... I scored the place and, and this was you know what I could find so here's all my goodies that I got today um, and we're going to go over how to make some of these extra different options that you can make and when you are waiting on your next batch of elastic to arrive or you might just love the way the ties work versus the elastic um, I've heard some people say it's just more comfortable I'm excited to see what the feel of this um jersey knit would be for ties and also to compare it to the bias tape um, i think also be good to compare our pipe cleaners and in our floral wire and just see how those things work so let's get started and see how all these goodies that i found today at walmart will work for us in making our masks okay so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to actually cut our jersey knit, um, some people are literally using t-shirts from their closet and that's awesome. Um, but I really scored getting this fabric today, so I'm excited about it. So they're saying to cut um, 18 inch strips and what's really cool is this mat that I bought today is literally 18 inches. Um, each one of these squares represents an inch, so this is just like perfect. Um, and each of these should be about one inch. Now the, the hardest one I'm doing right here is this very first one because it was really hard to match up the, um, the, the first roll. So we're gonna do that and I think it'll get easier as we get down here. Um, I'm gonna cut this little end off. The cool thing they're talking about with the jersey knit is that it won't fray. I mean, it's just like your t-shirts. Uh, they don't fray when, you know, if you get a little hole in a t-shirt, you know, it just remains a hole. It doesn't fray. So um, we're gonna cut strips. What I did is I fold this over, so I'm making four at one time, um, so that each section that I'm cutting is for one mask. Um, so I'm just gonna keep cutting. I like the idea of the ties, even though I've been doing elastic. Um, I think this requires more, um, you know, more work to cut all these out. Um, but I think tying it um, in the end for some is going to be easier. It also allows it to be more adjustable because um, I do worry with a little bit with these the elastic that I've been doing is that. Um, you know, it might not um, fit everybody the same. Well, of course it won't. So um, the same elastic that I'm using might, um, whoops, too strong, aren't I? You know, it might be looser on some and might be a tighter fit on somebody, somebody else. So again, each strip is four layers thick. So that means that each one of these will represent a different mask. Um, so I'm just going to kind of slide these over and we'll work with just one. Um, so you do have to cut, since we folded this over, the end here. There's one. These are, you know, super stretchy and I just imagine these being very comfortable um, wearing these since we're wearing them for long periods of time. Today was the first day that I actually wore a mask in public and it felt kind of weird, but I went to Walmart and, you know, I don't know, I would say like every 10th person had a mask on in there and at first I wasn't wearing it, but then I was like, you know what, I'm making these for people left and right. Um, why am I not wearing mine? And I actually had it in my purse. Um, so I put it on and I wore it the entire time I was there and you know, it was okay. It felt, it felt fine. And, um, it was just weird, but what a, just, just a weird time we're living in right now. Okay. So there's my four strips and they say with this, that it will kind of curl up if you just kind of pull on it, just like so. And it does. Oh, I like that. Perfect. So 
probably can do them all at the same time. Just pull on and they kind of curl up and should not fray on us. So I like that. Okay. So then the other option that we talked about was the bias tape that I scored. And I, like I said, scored every color. And I didn't, I wasn't doing my good math, um, which, you know, math is just not my thing. Um, so I'm going to cut these into 18 inch strips as well. I would have bought more if I realized that out of a, you know, the packet that you get. So, you know, this packet um, will make two masks and that's it, um, which is fine. But um, I just, when I got a bunch of packets, I, I, in my mind, was thinking that I would be making masks all night long with what I bought. But um, it just really, when you cut 18 inch strips, it will only a lot for two total these are long so um they are my four ties at 18 inches and um this is what i have left over so i had already cut the first four and then here's four so that's one mask there's two, two masks and then you saw with the jersey knit how quickly i was able to cut those you know there's one and i have you know six more right here in my bundle that you know i can use here shortly so I wanted to show you these two options. Now, if you remember me showing you, I got these, you know, elastic ties too, because everybody had said, you know, you could use hair ties. Yeah, I can't, this, this, there's just no way. It's just not big enough. So I obviously didn't buy the right ones. I didn't see any that were any bigger. Um, so I'm probably gonna forego trying this. Um, we'll see, but I, I, I just think they're too small. So let's do these two versions. We're gonna do the jersey knit and then the bias tape. So, I did the first step of the mask that I'm doing. I've been doing them on my embroidery machine, but I found this really quick, easy way to do them on my sewing machine. So that way I can have my embroidery machine running and my sewing machine running at the same time and make double the amount. Um, I like this one because it does offer a filter pocket. What I first did was just fold it over um, my fabric and this was cut to be um, for an adult size. This was one long piece of fabric and it was, um, nine inches wide by 16 inches long and so then i folded it right sides together and then i just sewed right along the upper edge it said to leave a three to four inch opening and this will be where um, ultimately we can insert a um, shield um, or a filter in there if, if you feel like that's necessary um, when i will be giving these to people i will have it available for them to put whatever filter they want to use in it or just to leave it as is um, so it's folded over. There's two pins in place. That was just my markers so I could leave that opening there. The next thing it wants you to do is to um, sandwich the elastic and the fabric tie or the, the fabric ties or the bias tape between the layers of the mask. So you're going to pin in place of the corners and sew along each side. So we're basically, let's see, for this one, we're going to use the elastic or not the elastic the I'm so used to working with elastic we're going to use our jersey knit here and so the trick with this we don't need the pins anymore is we need to tuck it all inside So we'll tuck that in there. We're going to pin it in place. We're going to bring it all the way up to the corner. And we'll take one of our pins. I'll pin it in place. And then we'll do that on all four sides. Okay, now I'm going to do the same thing, but instead this time using the bias tape. Okay, so now we've got both pieces of fabric where we've got um, all four corners 
This has our jersey knit, um, and this has our bias tape. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna sew along each side, here and here, here and here, okay? Okay, so I just realized I didn't do this per the instructions. I was actually supposed to bring it down the center right here and iron it. I didn't do that, but I think we can make it work how I've done it. And the biggest goal is just for us to show how these different ties work. So I'm showing you how the pins are here in place and I'm gonna remove the pins. And then we are going to just kind of clip our corners before we turn it. I did that one. I did reinforce each side. Um, so we can do our optional um, nose piece now. And I think the nose piece is critical. Um, you know, as a nurse, I think that's one of the really good ways that it secures it um, to your face and doesn't come back up. So these are supposed to be six inches. So this is the floral wire we were talking about earlier. Um, so I'm just gonna measure six inches out from here, one to six. And then we'll cut that. Definitely need some wire cutters to be able to make that work easier. Um, and then they definitely recommend you bending the edges back up. And I have okay. so folding the edges back. Um, and again, I really like the way this wire, how pliable it is. Um, so that's one option. And then the second option that we have is to take. Um, you know, our pipe cleaners, and I've already cut this one to be six inches long, and I used the wire cutter with this as well, just so it didn't mess up my regular scissors. So these are two options that you can use to put inside the nose piece. And so what it suggests is to turn this right side out. So we're gonna use our opening here, and we're gonna twist these out. All right. Still will work because you can still use the opening um, to put in the filter if someone does choose to do that it just it's going to be down here at the bottom and that's absolutely fine no issue at all with that there's no reason to to waste any of the materials that we have okay so then we'll do the same thing with this i already cut the wires or, i'm sorry cut the corners Here are just kind of pushing each corner out. So there's the two that we made. I love it so far. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to kind of press down the opening so that it's flat when we sew our next step. So we'll do that with with both of these, just a quick press. And again, you guys, these don't have to be perfect. They just have to be functional. This is one of those times where we say um, function over fashion. But how cute is this fabric? I mean, we can at least be cute while we're wearing them. I'm actually making these for my parents. So they've requested them and figured they could try out the two different styles and give us some feedback on how these go. So I'm mailing these off to them tomorrow. So you can see how we've pressed it. So it kind of gives that a more finished edge there. And so we're gonna use the two different options for our nose pieces. And so what you need to do is you're gonna take it back through the hole and you're gonna bring it to the top of the mask. All the way up to the edge. And kind of center it there. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna sew just kind of around so we can keep it right there centered. 
Mine's kind of shifted a little bit. Perfect. So we'll do kind of like a casing around it there and up. Okay. And then the same thing with the wire, floral wire, if that's what you found and that's what um, you have on hand, then we'll do the same thing. Where is the opening here? There's the opening. So we're going to do the same thing with this. We're going to take our piece of wire. We're going to slide it in. Actually, this is the wire we had because the edges are curled up. We're going to bring it all the way to the top. And there it is right there at the top. And we're going to sew do 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 all around it. So it holds it in place and makes it usable for us. So we'll be right back. Okay, so you can see here how in this one I've enclosed the metal, I'm sorry, the floral wire. And in this one, I have enclosed the pipe cleaner. So they both have those in them. That's optional. You don't have to put those in. I just feel like it's really helpful to, you know, be able to bend over the nose um, and keep it just, um, just more of a tighter fit. So you can see how those kind of bend up when you have it in there and, and you can mold it to your nose um, each time that you use it. So um, this one again has the um, pipe cleaner and this one has the floral wire. I kind of like how the floral wire um, really seems more pliable and, and just kind of stays more in place. Um, but that this will work as well, especially if it's something that you can find at your in Walmart craft store or just in your art box at home. So the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna put our pleats in and fold those um, and sew them and we'll be done. Um, so again, we will fold it in half and then fold and iron with a quick press. And then we'll do the same thing going up and down. Quick press. And then to ensure that I do it the right way, again, we want the folds to go down. So we'll actually start at the top and go halfway down. That's the correct way to do it. Sometimes it just takes me talking my way through it to realize um, the best way to do it or a better way to do it. But these lines are just guides, so you kind of just move half to half. Pin both sides. And then half to half. Looks so much smaller once you put all the pleats in it. Okay, so now we're going to sew down both sides of these. And I'm going to fix this one so we do it correctly. So we'll be back. Okay, so. We just pull out the pins. I've sewn both sides and reinforced them on both sides. Um, and obviously, if I was doing this for um, fashion purposes, um, I would use probably the navy thread, but I figured we could see um, what we were doing more uh, for the purpose of this video if I used white. Um, and you can see my stitching, it's it's not perfect, it's not beautiful, um, but it's, it's, it's really all we need for this to be functional. So here is the mask with the bias tape, and this will just be worn around the head, and it's got the wire um, nose piece. And here is the one that I think is gonna be so comfortable with the elastic um, or the jersey knit ties. Um, and it's got the pipe cleaner in the nose. So you can see how that pleat folds up and open. And then here was my original one that I've been doing on my embroider machine, uh, which I'll continue to make these once I get more elastic in, um, which I really could make these with the bias tape and um, jersey knit as well, but this is the kind with elastic. So the last thing I'm gonna do is show all three of these on so you can get an idea of what they look like and um, how well they fit. So we're gonna do that next. Okay, so I wanted to show you the three different styles we just made. So this is with the bias tape. It really ties very easily, and I think it, um, you know, you can really adjust it to how you need it. 
um, that you know you can move it around in different locations to tie it um, to make sure that it you know fits snug here and here. I really like the way those tie. Uh, I think that will be long term, just really good wear. And then it's got the wire, the floral wire on the nose piece. And I think that really, really works well. Very pliable. I like that. So that's, you know, one option that we had, we just made. Uh, this is the one with the stretchy jersey knit. Now, I feel like these pieces, after I just tried it, are crazy long because they do stretch. Um, I don't think we need pieces as long as we've made. Um, so that's just a good note to self. Um, because they're so crazy long, I almost think they're um, not as tight of a fit, but you can certainly cut those. Um, but that's the good thing about it is that it can be adjusted for whoever puts this on. So you can, you know, tie it tighter as needed. But I mean, look at how long those are. Um, so there is the jersey knit, and then I can fold my little pipe cleaner across the nose there. And so you just kind of have to play around with how tight you make them in the back, but they really do work well. I just think the pieces are too long, um, but it's perfect because you can cut them and tie them however you want. So I like the way that looks. What cute fabric that is. Um, so that one fits the face really well. And again, it's just the tighter you pull these snugger the fit will be um so that's a really good one with the t-shirt um material jersey knit and then just your tried and true the elastic definitely the easiest to put on this is the one that will be my tried and true for um what i make just because it's it's so easy um i could see over time you know if if somebody was wearing this you know all day um you know possibly that would would affect that it's not as, um, it's, it, it's really not as adjustable. Um, you'd have to really work with it or re-sew a section of it if you needed to make it shorter. Um, but I, I wore this all day in Walmart today. Not all day, but it did take me a long time to get my shopping done, um, getting groceries for the week. But this is a pleated version as well, just using the elastic. So there's the three options. Again, all this great stuff that I found at Walmart today. Wish you well in making them. Let me know if you have any questions. Talk to y'all soon. Bye.